from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I'm Archbishop Francis Leo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by contributions from the members of the St. Francis Xavier Seniors Club of Toronto East. This Mass is offered for the good health of their members, especially those confined to their homes, in healthcare facilities and nursing homes in memory of deceased members, and that all nations of the world live in peace, love, and unity. The St. Francis Xavier Seniors Club Toronto East have been faithful supporters of the daily TV Mass since we first began broadcasting. Our thanks to their members for the gift of the televising of this Mass to the faithful of Canada and around the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Visitation. Let us now pause and acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Beloved, let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. 
Do not claim to be wiser than you are. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Lord's mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. The Lord has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. 
And Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Brothers and sisters, at a time when many are finalizing plans for a summer trip and vacation, Our Lady in today's Gospel is concerned not about vacation, but about her vocation. The angel Gabriel just announced to her her awesome divine calling to be the mother of the Messiah, the mother of the Savior, the mother of God. And Our Lady immediately leaps into action. She's a woman on a journey. She's a woman of prayer and a woman of action. She's not afraid to go the extra mile. She's generous and she's giving. Elizabeth, her cousin, is in need of assistance. And Our Lady doesn't think about herself and her condition, but goes to help her elderly cousin. She knows, Our Lady, how to praise God and give God glory. She sings with all her might and with all of her faith, God's fidelity and his action in her life and the life of our salvation history. She's the first and the most perfect disciple because she brings Jesus to Elizabeth. And joy emerges when Jesus and Mary are there. And I think in our own meditation on this awesome mystery of the visitation, which we also pray in the Holy Rosary, in the life of the church and in our life of faith, we too have an opportunity to be visited by the mother of Jesus and our spiritual mother. And that daily opportunity is prayer. When we take the time and when we invest our faith and our trust and call upon the intercession, the maternal mediation of Our Lady, she shows up. We experience her tender, loving care. We experience the love of a mother, and she takes us by the hand and leads us to Christ. So let us always take advantage of our daily opportunities to be visited by Our Lady when we pray. But then there's also an occasion every day, we might say, of visiting others. And like Our Lady, and like a powerful, compelling, and credible witness and disciple, bring Jesus to others. When Our Lady, as first disciple, brought her son to Zachariah's house. John the Baptist leapt in the womb of his mother. There was joy, there was peace in a family setting. We too need to seize all the occasions we can to bring Jesus to others. And in doing so, we too will experience that joy, that peace, that familiar spirit of belonging to the Lord who is always faithful to his promises. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Brothers and sisters, let us unite our prayers with the prayers of Mary to pray for our needs, the needs of the church, and the needs of the world. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis, our Pope, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they would seek holiness of life and ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are For all those who have been asked to be included in the daily TV Mass Prayer Intentions book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are For our daily TV Mass community, that just as the Holy Spirit was present 
when the Blessed Virgin Mary visited Elizabeth, may the Holy Spirit fill us with your love, joy, peace, and wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. That all young people, like Mary, may be open to God's call in their lives, that they may say yes to serving others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may trust in Mary's intercession and imitate her virtues, especially as we pray for the sick and shut-ins, the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, and for the prayers we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we ask Our Lady to join her prayers to ours as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Gracious God, you called Mary to visit her cousin Elizabeth in her time of need. Hear the prayers of your children, and grant them, we pray, in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns, his power and his glory, now and forever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the all of his holy church. May our offerings on this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord. As you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed Virgin Mary, mother of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, we, me, your unworthy bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist leapt with joy, when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living God, Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.